Good evening, everyone. Shabbat Shalom. I am thrilled to be joined on the BIMA this evening by Dr. Ernie Brookfield, who will be helping to lead the service. We'll begin with our opening song, Hine Matov, which you can find on page 128. We welcome the Sabbath on this beautiful August evening, and we'd like to start with kindling of the lights. I'd like to invite Tyler Cogan and his parents, Mark and Kim, to light the candles. Shabbat candles give light to all who behold them, so may we by our lives give light to all who behold us. As their brightness reminds us of the generations of Israel who have kindled light, so may we in our own day be among those who kindle light. Blessed are you, Adonai, our God, sovereign of the universe, who howls us with mitzvot, commanding us to kindle the light of Shabbat. Baruch We continue now with the Hatsi Kaddish, and Tyler is going to uh, recite that for us. Yit kada vik wehasa, yit kada yit kada shikadash shemei raba. Ba'amadi 
Yehi Shemei Rabba Mivorach Le'elam O'me'omaya Yitbarach Yishtabach Yitbarach 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 Le'ele min chobir chata v'shirata Tush v'chata v'nemata Dami riron v'omah v'imru amen Please rise for the call to worship on page 146. can be found on your pink song sheet if you were lucky enough to get one. We'll read responsively on page 151. Wisdom and wonder, passion and instruction, story and symbol. All these things your Torah gives to us. And the more we devote ourselves to it, the more it grows and gives. 
What could be a truer token of your abiding love than this holiest of your works and the living language that gives it form? Baruch atah Adonai, Oheid Amon Israel. Please be. Shabbat Israel. Please be seated. And we'll read the the hafta. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha v'chol levavcha u'v'chol nafshecha u'v'chol me'odecha v'hayu hadvarim ha'ela. Asher anochi netavecha hayom olivavecha vishinan tam livanecha vidibar taba vishiftecha bevetecha uvlechtecha habaderech ushochbecha uvkumecha. Shartan leot ayatecha, the hayuatata fault, venecha, Uktarta, a Mrs. Ut betecha, Uvi sharecha, Lemant his guru, the asitem it comets for tie, the pankadoshin leilolechem. Ani Adonai Elohechem Asher Hotze Tiachem Meyeretz Mitzrayim Leot Lachem Leilohim Ani Adonai Elohechem We read together, Love your God with every heartbeat, every breath with every conscious act. Keep in mind the words I command you today. Teach them to your children. Talk about them at work, whether you are tired or you are rested. Let them guide the work of your hands. Keep them in the forefront of your vision. Do not leave them at the doorway of your house or outside your gate. They are reminders to do all of my mitzvot so that you can you be can holy, be holy for, God. for God. I am Adonai, Adonai your God. God. I, I let you out, out of Egypt to become, become your, your God. God. I am Adonai your God. And you did. We read responsively on page 157. In a world torn by violence and pain, a world far from the wholeness and peace, give us the courage to say, Adonai, there is one God in heaven and earth. The high heavens declare your glory. May earth reveal your justice and love. From bondage in Egypt, we were delivered. At Sinai, we bound ourselves to your way. Inspired by prophets and instructed by sages, time and again, we overcame oppressive forces. Though our failings are many and our faults are great, it has been our glory to bear witness to our God, keeping alive in dark ages 
your vision of a world redeemed. Let us continue to work for the day when the nations will be one at peace. Then shall we rejoice as Israel did, singing on the shores of the sea. We read together at the top of page 161. Let there be love and understanding, and understanding among us. Let peace, peace and friendship be our shelter from life's storms. Adonai, help us to walk with good companions, to live with hope in our hearts and eternity in our thoughts, that we may lie down in peace and rise up waiting to do your will. Baruch atah Adonai, Hapore Sukat Shalom Aleinu, Val Kol Amo Yisrael, Veal Yerushalayim. Breathe. 
We rise now for the tefillah on page 164. Adonai sifatai tiftach uviyaki tehilatecha aruchata Adonai Eloheinu Elohei avoteinu vimoteinu Elohei Abraham Elohei Yitzhak Elohei Yaakov Elohei Shara, Elohei Rivka, Elohei Rachel, Elohei Leia, Ha El Hagado, Hagivor Venora, El El Yon, Gomel Chasarim Tovim, Vikone Hakol, Vizacher Astavot Vimahot. Who may be Gula Leaf Nave Lam Liman Shomo Beahava Malikos Room Shiha Umagain Baruchata Adonai Magain Avraham Vezratta Ra Atagi Boile Lamadonai Mechaye Hako Atav Rafla Oshia Mechael Chaim Bechesed Mechayei Hakol Berachamim Rabi So Mech Nolfim Berofecholim Umatir Asherim Umechayem Emunato Lishene Afar Micha Macha Bal Ukuvarot Umi Domelach Melech Mimit Umechaye Umax Mia Keshua Venema Natal de Chayotako Baruchata Adonai Hagare Hako Hakadosh, Hakadosh, Ukrushim, the whole young Yurkusa, Sasela, Baruchat, Hakadosh. You may be seated and we'll read responsively on page 173. Disturb us, Adonai, ruffle us from our complacency. Make us dissatisfied, dissatisfied with the peace of ignorance, the quietude which arises from the shunning of horror, the defeat, the bitterness, and the poverty, physical and spiritual, of humans. Shock us, Adonai. Deny to us the false Shabbat, which gives us the delusions of satisfaction amid a world of war and hatred. Wake us, O God, and shake us from the sweet and sad poignancies rendered by half-forgotten melodies and rumored prayers, prayers of yesteryears. Make us know that the border of this sanctuary is not the border of living, and the walls of your temples are not shelters from the winds of truth, justice, and reality. Disturb us, O God, and vex us. Let not your Shabbat be a day of torpor and slumber. Let it be a time to be stirred and spurred to action. Baruch atah Adonai, Mekadesh HaShabbat. Ritzay Adonai Eloheinu Be'amacha Yisrael Utfilatam mehavo te kabe Utehil razun tamid Avodat Israel amecha Hey, <laughs> 
Let's read together on page 177. God of goodness, goodness we give we thanks for the gift of life, wonder, wonder beyond, beyond words, words. For, for the, the awareness, awareness of soul, soul our light within, within for the, the world around us, so filled, so filled with beauty, for the richness of the earth, earth which day by day sustains us. For, for all these and more, we offer thanks. Baruch Ata Adonai, Atov Shimcha, Ulacha Nae Lehotor. Shalom Rav, Shalom Rav, Al Yisrael Amcha, Tasi.
we read together, grant us peace, your most precious, precious gift, gift, O eternal, eternal source, source of peace, peace. and give us the, the will to proclaim, to proclaim its message to all the peoples of the earth. Bless, Bless our country, country as a safeguard of peace, its advocate among the nations. May contentment reign within our borders, health and happiness within our homes. Strengthen the bonds of friendship and fellowship among all the inhabitants of every land. Plant virtue in every soul, and may the love of your name hallow every home and every heart. Praised are you, Eternal One, who blesses our people with peace. Baruch atah Adonai, ambarech et amo Yisrael b'ashalom. We take a moment now to ask for God's healing for those in our congregation and community suffering from illness. Uh, Eloise Rapino, Joel Levitan, Beth and Braley Ulsh. And please feel free to share the name of someone dear to you. We now pause for a moment of silent prayer. First, we're going to join together in the Mishaberach, which you can find on your song sheet.
Now we'll pause for a moment of silent prayer. In January of 2016, I nervously opened the door of a conference room at the Brandeis Bardeen Institute in Southern California. I had signed up for the clergy leadership program at the Jewish Institute of Spirituality, and it was the very first moments of our very first retreat. Signing up for the program was a bit strange. There was an application process, as you might expect, but you, and you had to be selected to participate. The goal of the Institute, I believe, was to create a balanced cohort of 40 participants with representation of both rabbis and cantors, different gender identities, and as many denominations or streams of Judaism as possible. Everyone I knew who had participated in a previous cohort told me I must apply that it was amazing and that it would change my life. But no one was willing to tell me what it actually was, what I would be doing, or what I could expect to take away from it. You just have to go, they said. Okay, well, those who know me well know that I'm not really a joiner. So while I had to take the word of my respected colleagues that the program would be life-changing, and that I must participate, it was very challenging for me to walk in with my heart open, knowing nothing about what would happen. 
We came into a large room where there were chairs set out in a circle, and we sat. We were paired up with a partner and instructed to take part in our very first exercise, active listening. The instructions were given. One partner was to speak for two minutes about I don't remember what, I think perhaps about the events of the day leading up to arriving at the, at the retreat center. The other partner was to say nothing. We were allowed to indicate we were engaged and listening non-verbally, but we were not supposed to respond verbally to the speaking partner at all. This was supposed to give us some insight about what it felt like to be actively listening to another person. Oh my gosh! My mind began to scream. Two whole minutes? What on earth am I going to say for two whole minutes? I don't really like talking about myself and am definitely not usually eager to open up to people I have never met. Is there any way out of this? My mind continued. What will my partner say? Maybe he won't want to do it either. What am I going to do? My partner began to speak. He was a rabbi. He had a beautiful resonant voice and a South American accent, and I really liked listening to him. But all that was going through my mind at the time was, this is so awkward. Why am I not allowed to respond to him? Wouldn't that be a better indication that I'm actively listening? I want to talk to him. Does the expression on my face look funny? I'm so stressed out right now, I bet my face looks weird instead of looking sympathetic. When is this going to be over? How long is two minutes? When the bell finally went off and we switched roles, all I re remember going through my head was, what am I going to say? What am I going to say? What am I going to say for two minutes? I'm feeling like a complete idiot for talking about nothing important to my older and wiser partner. This week's Torah portion, Parashat Va'et Hanan, contains what is often called the watchword of our faith, the Shema. The Shema has been part of many of our lives for as long as we can remember. We know the words by heart. We know the translation by heart. Many of us can still hear our rabbis of years gone past intoning, Hear, O Israel, the Lord is our God, the Lord is one. And although we no longer use that particular translation, perhaps it still tugs at our heartstrings Perhaps it takes us back to a different time in our lives when we first were learning its meaning. For all its familiarity, power, and comfort, the Shema is a, little, is a complicated little phrase to unpack. What does it mean? Beyond the declaration that there is one God and that one God is our God, Adonai, what are we to take away from those six words? And how are we to understand them in our day-to-day -day lives? Hear, O Israel. Looking back on my first moments of the clergy leadership program, allow me to give my past self a failing grade on the active listening exercise. I was not able to truly listen to my partner, who really did deserve an active listener because of the tremendous noise in my own head, in my own being. My discomfort was taking up far too much room in our exercise. It's likely that my partner did not fully know this. I certainly don't know what he was feeling or experiencing during our exercise. This is how we move through life. We generally move through the rhythm of our own existence, listening to the soundtrack of our own nonsense. Most of us are only able to be truly hearing or listening to another if we purposefully make the room for their story to be heard. We can only do that when we work on turning down our own internal volume. We cannot assume that we are listening or hearing simply by being in a space with another who is speaking. It is our job to listen, to truly make space for another to be heard. And listening is a skill that we each much must hone over time. 
Shema. We must start with hearing. If we have not cultivated the ability to make room to hear, we cannot possibly understand the possibility of echad, of oneness. Oneness can only happen in a place where there's room for all to meet. Oneness cannot be found in a place where the loudest voices are heard and the softer ones are silenced. Once we have attained the ability to listen and can find level ground, then we can have the possibility of knowing Adonai is with us. In the book of Deuteronomy chapter 6, we read, Shema Yisrael, Adonai Eloheinu, Adonai Echad, hear, O Israel, Adonai is our God, Adonai is one. Ve'ahavta et Adonai Elohecha, bechol levavcha, uvechol nafshecha, uvechol me'odecha. You shall love Adonai your God with all your heart, with all your soul, and with all your being. Listen, and if you make the room to hear, then the next step is reaching out in love. May we all truly listen to the words of the Shema that live with us through the rhythm of our Jewish lives. May they teach us to open ourselves up to true listening, making space for the voices of others, and in the mingling of all of our voices and stories, may we discover the oneness that unites us all. May this be God's will. I would like to invite Dr. Andrew Pelletier forward to share the announce with, announcements with us this evening. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. I get to be your friendly board representative tonight. All right, so a few announcements for this week. Flowers here on the bima are in honor of Tyler Kogan's bar mitzvah and from his family. Go get them tomorrow. Go get them. Kiddush this evening is in honor of uh, Dr. Jeffrey and Cheryl Levin's special 50th wedding anniversary. And a few other announcements. Religious school begins August 21st at 9.15 a.m., Shomer Shabang, of which I have no idea what that is. So if you have First questions. First day of religious school. August 21st, 11 a.m. to 12.30 p.m. Hebrew school begins on August 24th at 4.30 p.m. And Shabbat morning yoga, body and soul, Saturday, August 27th at 10.30 a.m. in person or uh, via Zoom link, which will be in the bulletin. Shabbat shalom. Shabbat shalom. Well, that was a little spoiler alert. Speaking of love, I would like to invite Jeff and Cheryl Levin to the Bima for a blessing on the occasion of their upcoming 50th anniversary. I'm going to open the ark, but I would like to invite the congregation for now to remain seated. O oh God, eternal source of blessing, we turn to you in gratitude for the strength and devotion that have preserved and sustained Jeff and Cheryl and permitted them to reach this hour. Let us pause and take a moment to bless the road that brought them here, a road with ups and downs, with challenges and blessings. O oh God, you have been with them and their loved ones as they have traveled this path so may you continue to be with them, guiding and sustaining them in the years to come. Jeff and Cheryl, may God bless you with health and contentment, joy and happiness, along with all of your loved ones. May you continue to give the gift of listening and really hearing each other with love. As you approach this milestone, your 50th anniversary, May you look back on these many years with gratitude and forward to a future filled with the blessings of love and family. It's my honor to offer you the blessing of the threefold benediction from the Torah at this joyous time in your lives. 
May God bless you and keep you. May God's presence shine upon you and be gracious to you. May God be with you always and grant you the gift of peace. Let us all say amen. amen. Let us wish Jeff and Cheryl a big mazel tov. Simon tov, mazel tov, mazel tov. We'll continue now with the Elenu. We'll continue now with the Elenu on page 586. Will you please rise? Let the time not be distant, O oh God, when all shall turn to you in love, when corruption and evil shall give way to integrity and goodness, when superstition shall no longer enslave the mind nor idolatry blind the eye. O oh, may all created in your image become one in spirit and one in friendship, forever united in your service. Then shall your realm be established on earth and the word of your prophet fulfilled, Adonai, Adonai will reign forever and ever. We, the light of life is a finite flame. Like Shabbat candles, life is kindled, it burns, it glows, it is radiant with warmth and beauty. But soon it fades, its substance is consumed and no more. In light we see, in light we are seen, the flames dance and our life burns down and gutters. There is an end to the flames. We see no more and are no more seen. Yet we do not despair. We are more than a memory slowly fading into the darkness. With our lives, we give life. Something of us can never die. We move in the eternal cycle of darkness and death, of light and life. At this sacred moment of our Sabbath worship, we think 
lovingly of Honora Sue Kirsch Carr, who passed away during the past month and for whom the period of Shloshim is still being observed. We name two at this time, those whose yard sites, the anniversary of whose passing occurs on this Shabbat, as we recall, Marty Alvin, Max Barkan, Harry H. Davis, Isaac Davis, Samuel I. Dreyfus, James L. Epstein, Mary Ann Fetterman, Joseph Friedman, Aaron Friedman, Arthur Jack Frost, Gladys Green, Benjamin J. Halburn, Simon Hess, Henry Hirsch, Thomas L. Kaplan, Sharon Katz, Louis J. Mainwold, Sidney Mostoff, Stanley T. Nathanson, Nathan Perlman, Suzanne Radovsky, Lena Roth, Meyer Schiff, Franklin Shore, Carl Schultz, William G. Scutch, Jerome Starsky, Meryl Streichler, Beverly Swartz, Ernest S. Erwitz, Fanny D. Erwitz, Hi Wattenmaker, Julia Zupnik, and Sam Zupnik. We rise now and sanctify the name of God with the words of Kaddish found in our prayer books on page 598. Yit Gadal vi Kadash Shemei Rabbah, Be'al Ma di Virach Yurte vi Amlich Malchute, Bechaye Hon of Yome Hon, Uvachaye de Holbet Israel. Bagala uvizman kari vimru amen. Yehe shame rabba mevarach le lamul al me al maya. Ye parach viish tabach viit pa arvit romam viit nase. Viit hadar viit alevit halal shame de kucha brihu. Le ela minko birhata vishirata. Tushbahata venechamata. Da amiran be'alma vimru amen. Yehe shalama rabba min shamaya vechayim aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael vimru amen. Ose shalom vimru ma. Huya se shalom. Aleinu ve'al kol Yisrael vimru amen. May the source of peace send peace to all who are bereaved, here and everywhere, as together we say, amen. Our final song this evening will be Ein Kelohinu, which can be found on your song sheet, which includes not only the familiar Hebrew words, but also the words translated into Ladino for something a little different to end our service this evening. Ein Kelohinu, Ein Kadoneinu, Ein Kemalkeinu, Ein Kemoshi. Non como muestro Dios, non como muestro Señor, non como muestro Rey, non como muestro Salvador. Mi Heloheinu, mi Hadoneinu, mi Hamalkeinu, mi Hamoshieinu. Ken como muestro Dios, ken como muestro Señor, ken como muestro Rey, ken como muestro Salvador. No de Leilo Heinu, no de la Doneinu, no de la Malkeinu, no de la Moshieinu. Lo haremos a muestro Dios, lo haremos a muestro Señor, lo haremos a muestro Rey, lo haremos a muestro Salvador. Baruch Eloheinu, Baruch Adoneinu, Baruch Malkeinu, Baruch Moshieinu, bendito muestro Dios, bendito muestro Señor, bendito muestro Rey, bendito muestro Salvador. Atahu Eloheinu, Atahu Adoneinu, Atahu Malkeinu, Atahu Moshieinu. Tu sos muestro Dios, tu 
sos nuestro Señor, tú sos nuestro Rey, tú sos nuestro Salvador. Shabbat Shalom. Shabbat Shalom.